All right, y'all, you already know. So last night we got to see Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul on fight on Netflix, which was a first for them. And uh, why it was a it was a finesse move. Clearly, everybody watched the fight. A lot of people showed up. Mike still has that nostalgia to him. You had Cedric the Entertainer. I seen Shaq there, Mike Epps there, so on and so forth, right? Well, the fight was underperformed. A lot of people was disappointed. Hell, a lot of people couldn't even watch the fight from what I was being told. But Javante Tank Davis came out and uh, he actually defended Mike's actions. And I'm pretty much paraphrasing, but he said pretty much no, no matter what, Mike Tyson is still a legend, which is true. But then he also had to say this about Jake Paul to the bozo that shared the ring with Mike. You a whole bozo for this and you didn't get the job done. Now, let me let me, let me say this. Jake Paul couldn't he, he, he couldn't stop Mike Tyson. A lot of people trying to say that Jake Paul was being gracious and was being mercy and no, he was scared of Mike Tyson. See, he would he would come in. He knew Mike was tired, but one thing about Mike, Mike, Mike could counter somebody. And he hit Mike hit him a couple of times. You could tell Jake didn't really want want those issues. But he knew he could outbox Mike. So he was coming in, jabbing, sticking and moving. Like I said before, pretty much how Andy Josh how and Andy Joshua. Anthony Joshua did uh to Andy uh Ruiz when he beat him. The second time, well, after, after he got knocked out of Madison Square Garden, Anthony Joshua, that is. Well, the same thing happened with this and Jake Paul. And Javante Tank Davis, he know that Jake Paul carefully selected Mike because he's going to always have him on his resume. And yet he won't fight a real fighter. And Nate, I mean, Nate, Javante Tank Davis basically said he'll share the ring with him. Now, some people might say, well, I mean, Jake Paul's 200 something pounds. Tank Davis would still, I would honestly say, seriously hurt Jake Paul in the ring. But they're around the same age. He's quicker. He's definitely more powerful. He's definitely more accurate on the punches. But it's not going to happen. Jake Paul, he's going to keep playing around. And, you know, now he can run around and say, man, I'll be Mike Tyson, even though he's 50, there's almost 60 years old. A lot of his fans are going to side with him on that. And it was just, you know, I'm going to make another video about this. But honestly, I get it. It's $20 million. But it w was it worth giving up your legacy for $20 million? Now, Jake, on his on his end, they say he made about 50, four, uh, 40, between 40 and 50 million. Cool. But is it was it really worth it uh, long, long term? You know, and a lot of people was disappointed. A lot of people thought that Jake Paul was going to stop Mike, but he's not a professional fighter. He is a YouTube star or a content creator. And I think that people are just going to have to get over that, get over that part. But do I think that Jake Paul would actually get in the ring with Javante Tank Davis? Absolutely not. Now that fight, that fight will probably be bigger than him fight Mike Tyson. But Jake Paul, he's, he, he'll never do nothing like that. I mean, he, he, we all know that the moment he stepped in the ring with Tank, Tank would just have fun with him until he feel like knocking him out, and it would. And I'm sorry, I'm willing to bet my my everything on the line for that. But unless Tank just sold his soul for a million dollars, for a billion dollars, he's going to go in there and stop Jake Paul. And any legit fighter will go in there and stop him. And Jake Paul's fighting heavyweight too. Come on now, could you imagine the Deontay Water hitting him with that with the Alabama slammer, or or Tyson Fury or Alexander Usyk? Come on now, let's be honest, man. But I get a lot of these young kids, they grow up watching content creators and they think that, you know, because they see them doing, he, they see him do all these knockouts. It's like, oh, he can fight, but look at the people he's fighting, you know, and I, and, 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 and historically, you know, I don't want to be the one to, to come up with conspiracies, but historically, we already know how boxing is, you know what I'm saying? And for my naysayers, go back and look at when Mike Tyson fought Bruce Sheldon and tell me, you know, if y'all didn't think that that was mostly entertainment. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it, man. He ain't going to fight Tank Davis. Tell me what y'all think.